Mehra is a student of ISB batch of 2010, majoring in marketing and strategy. The proceeds from her bid to shadow her mentor went to an NGO working for women's rights and empowerment, Paraspara Foundation. Hi, uh, my name is Kriti Mehra. I am a student of Indian School of Business. I am here for the Shadow CEO program. Being a woman CEO and playing a leadership role in today's corporate environment, Kriti believes comes with its own set of unique challenges. Precious lessons in navigating this complex environment is what she looked to imbibe when she chose to spend her day with her role model, chairperson and MD Biocon, Kiran Mazumdar Shaw. As someone who has built a company from scratch, I think it's important to share your experiences, your journey with young people who want to aspire to, uh, you know, go the same journey. And I think uh, that's why I feel it's very important for people like us who have actually created new businesses in a country like India with all the challenges that go with building such an organization. Uh, it's important that we share this with the next generation. Why I chose to take this program is really to uh, extend this learning beyond the classroom and get a view of what the nuts and bolts view of a CEO's day is really like. You know, as an entrepreneur, I am very selfish and I feel that I would like others to become entrepreneurs. Because I think for me, rather than being a job seeker, you should be a job creator. And I've always felt that people who go to business schools and, you know, have this wonderful advantage of knowing uh, management and acquiring management skills, which I know somebody like I didn't have, I think you can do a lot more with that kind of uh, knowledge. Ms. Shaw is, uh, has had a phenomenal journey from uh, a starting entrepreneur to the head of a global firm. So I I'm confident I have a lot to learn from her, especially her being a woman CEO, it becomes even more pertinent for me. So I'm really looking forward to the day and waiting for her to arrive. Having met her mentor, the first thing on the agenda was a Women Business Leader Forum being organized by CII on Women Leading the Change. This pioneering initiative focused on creating a sustainable platform for aspiring women leaders. Speakers included women leaders from across diverse sectors and the session emphasized on the importance of building leadership abilities by leveraging networking opportunities. Jaita is a very, uh, is almost taken for granted because I happen to make the company. But I know that, you know, today when I look at the number of requests I have from companies who want, me, want to induct me onto their boards, largely because I'm a woman. And I think there I realized that companies are making a special effort uh, to inducting women uh, in, into their boards because they realize that they do need to have someone from a different gender basically bringing in that kind of diverse perspective to their way of thinking. Because today I think when you look at board discussions, um, what do women bring in? I think women do bring in a very different kind of perspective in terms of uh, probably uh, dealing with uh, human issues, especially dealing with women's issues. Okay, I think uh, men are very keen to do things for women employees, but somehow uh, I think women can add much more value to dealing with women's issues in the workplace. It's not just about that. I think. Uh, it's important to have uh, men realize and recognize that women have a leadership role to play, that women can contribute. But one of the things that really concerns me is I, I meet two types of women. You know, if I can categorize women and career women into two slots, I would say that there are women who are pursuing careers to keep themselves busy, but who are willing to give up their careers at the drop of a hat. But then there are girls who are very serious about their careers. And it is those serious women, I think, who need to be more ambitious, who need to understand and recognize the fact that they can actually play very strong leadership roles. And it is those women who also have to acquire and learn new skills. Because another thing I find is they're very uh, content with being very good at what we know. But I find that 
Men are far more ambitious in terms of wanting to learn and acquire new skills so that they can actually play a bigger leadership role. And I think in our own company, we are encouraging a lot of the women in leadership roles to make sure that they actually aspire uh, for such uh, new skills and new learning. So that's where I will end and stop my comments at the moment. But I think we must focus more on being business people and you know, people who can actually play leadership roles in society. I found that there is difficulty in how do you network with men as such because that part of meeting over drinks and all doesn't happen. So. No, it's actually you should be worthy because I, okay, I have had a very different career at this. So I've always been very comfortable having a drink. So we sat in the CII conference uh, in the morning which was about uh, how do you increase the membership of women in the boards and there were a lot of key takeaways from it, uh, the mainly uh, which I also agree with is that women have to do more to network. Uh, as such, we are a passive lot who like to keep doing our thing, so we need to get out there and market ourselves. And uh, other than that, uh, what is interesting to see was that uh, women are risk takers. I didn't see it like that, but it's interesting to know that. And another point was that uh, there is always this question on whether women, uh, an assertive woman, where is the line between assertiveness and aggressiveness and the point that just be yourself and things will fall into place was something that was useful to know. I really think that we still have societal reservations about a woman's role in the business world. I still believe that uh, women have to really fight many more challenges and many more battles than their male counterparts. And I think uh, this is going to be uh, the, the kind of, you know, accepted kind of norm for any woman uh, as long as we are not uh, uh, well represented in the business world. Whatever we say, we are still in the minority. I think business leaders, uh, women business leaders are still in the minority. So unless you see many, many more women uh, pursuing uh, careers very seriously and getting to the top, you know, you're going to have to uh, face these challenges.